Okay, hello. I am Mia Olivia M. Cano. Okay, so let me just summarize all of these sections for you to understand it better. Okay, so here we have Chapter 2, Diversion. Chapter 3, Prosecution. Chapter 4, Court Proceedings. Chapter 5, Confidentiality of Records and Proceedings. And Title 6, Rehabilitation and Reintegration. Okay, balik tayo. Okay, so let us now talk about um, the principles in the administrations of the juvenile justice and welfare. So basically, if you are going to um, compare a juvenile offender, again, when we say juvenile, it means a young person. Okay, so if you are going to compare a juvenile offender or yung young offender with an adult offender, okay, both of them have these so-called rights. Okay. Alam naman natin na meron tayong kanya-kanyang karapatan. Okay? The rise of an accused. Okay? So, in similarities, they should not be both subject to torture. They should not be deprived of their liberty. They have the rights to bill and recognizance, right of their privacy, and many more. That we can see in our Republic Act 9344, Section 5. Again, okay? So, if they have these similarities, they also have these differences. Okay? So, if you are going to see the juvenile justice system, they have this so-called um, diversion program. So, what is now the diversion program? Okay? So, diversion program is an alternative to determine what is the proper and right treatment for a juvenile um, accused or CICL or uh, what we call child in conflict with the law. So, kung titignan natin sa adult cases, malalaman kung ano yung proper treatment and punishment through what we call trial. Okay? Trial. While in the juvenile justice system, they have this so-called diversion program. Okay? To determine kung ano, ano nga dapat yung treat, dapat na treatment na ibigay sa CICL or Child in Conflict with the Law. Or in short, ito yung mga batang nagkasala under Philippine law. So that's the difference within the two, okay? So now, if we will now talk about the minimum age of criminal responsibility which play a very crucial um, role in prosecution of CICL cases. So it occurs in two in instances. So number one is below 15 years old, okay? So kung ang offender, ang pathetic offender, ay below 15 years old, he or she will be now exempted from criminal liability. So ano nga ba itong criminal liability? So criminal liability means punishment for a crime committed, okay? But take note, the law doesn't state civil liability, which, which refers to potential responsibility for payment or damages that they are exempted from, okay? So, ang nakalagay lang po ay they're exempted from criminal liability, okay? So, after after determining their age, if napatunayan nilang sila ay, if napatunayan nila na sila ay below 15 years old, yung nakasala, okay, they will be now exempt from criminal liability. And now, they will put into what we call interven intervention program. So what is now um, intervention program? Ano nga ba sinasabi ng intervention program? Intervention program must be created by the government or the juvenile justice system to determine what are the factors or the correlating, correlating factors that affected the child for him to her to commit the crime. Okay, for example, he or she committed a murder. So, the intervention program now, so, ang goal ng intervention program ngayon is to determine what is the child why that child committed that crime. Okay? So, maybe nung bata siya is binubuli siya, kaya may natitrigger sa kanyang gumawa ng mali. Or, for example, sa family background, right? Um, influence ng mga friends, ng surroundings, at iba. So, for example, um, yung bata, nakikita niyang nag-rugby yung mga friends niya, di ba? So, may possibility na gayahin niya din yun. Okay? So, ang daming factors. Ang daming um, i-determine ng intervention program kung bakit ginawa ng bata yung krimen na yun. Okay? So, ngayon naman is yung 15 years old above but less than 18. So, likewise siya. Exempted sila sa criminal liability and take note again na civil liability. Okay? They will also put into intervention program. But now, discernment na. Okay? So, in discernment, we have this so-called um, age of discernment. So, ito na yung 16 to 18. Right? So, at this age, 
um, yung mga bata is kaya na nila ang alagaan yung sarili nila. Okay? Di na napapa, dito na papasok or nagde-develop yung minds nila. Alam na nila yung tama at mali sa mga aksyon na ginagawa nila. So, that's a discernment, what we call discernment. So, here, discernment will play a role, a specific role. Here, if a child proven with discernment, ngayon napapasok yung tinatawag natin diversion program again. Okay? Again, ang diversion program was created by the government to determine what are the proper treatment for juvenile offenders or yung young offenders. So, kung napatunayan ng authorities, which are the social workers now, um, acted with discernment yung bata, it's isa subject niya siya ngayon ng, my, ng diversion program. Okay? So, <clears throat> okay, this is my last slide. Okay. So, nowadays, juveniles are being tried in the court separate from the adults. Unlike the latter, they're capable of changing and undergo rehabilitation. Okay? So, it's just a matter of on how you are going to treat and fix them. Okay? It's just like um throwing uh, toys. I suppose putting them at correctional institution or people that are capable, capable, that have the capabilities to care. Okay? Juveniles must stay at home with their families and people who are going to support and give them positive environment instead of putting them in a pack of walls in prison. So, yun ang gustong ipapatid ng Republic Act 9344 or the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act of 2006. Okay, thank you very much. For the next discussion, let's have Javi Panillo.